We are finally in sunshine as we start our journey on the Alaskan Highway. As you can see the sign behind me, we're pretty excited. We're in Dawson Creek. This is the beginning of a long journey into Alaska. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this sign. I've seen people stand in front of it, take their pictures. We've watched countless YouTube videos and man, it's a chore just getting here. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> We are a long way from home. And you know, funny thing is, we gotta get an oil change before we get started on this trip. Oh man, hey, take a look around. Can't believe we're here. So I just wanna take a second and tell you what my thoughts are. I am, um, it's almost emotional standing here. I can't tell you for several years, I, I know at least the last two years, on my lunch hour, I'd sit at my desk and look at pictures of this place and think about coming here and um, what it would be like, you know, being on Alaskan Highway and everything like that. So yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment because uh, it took a lot to get here. I uh, decided to quit my job and, and do uh, make a lot of plans I've spent over a year working on this van just to just to start this highway so um, yeah it, it it's a really cool place for me I just actually just want to sit here for a moment and think about it and um, I don't think Herky doesn't care one way or the other <laughs> he's just like yeah I just want to get around and sniff some stuff but uh, yeah this was this is really cool for me um, those that follow the channel for a while know that uh, this has been one of my goals is to do the Alaskan Highway. And uh, so here I am today uh, doing that. And you know, while I'm sitting here all emotional and everything, uh, Nancy just went ahead and went over there to that art gallery and just let me sit here and bask in the moment. So yeah, uh, boy, I just, I mean, I have no words, but anyway, thanks for watching our journey. Um, you know, this is where the thing begins, where you you start off and uh, you get on the Alaskan Highway. So it's quite a journey just getting here. So um, anyway, stay tuned. We got a lot of videos ahead and uh, just, just keep watching because... Hey, look right here on the van. We got our sticker from the southernmost point. If you remember back in February, we took a picture of that and said we were going all the way to the Arctic Circle. Here we are at the beginning of the Alaskan Highway. Can't wait to find another sticker there and says Arctic Circle. So about 30 miles uh, outside of Dawson Creek there where we started. We're uh, coming down this really steep grade here called Taylor Hill, I believe it is. Um, the city of Taylor is off in the distance, but the, the Peace River flows through down here. We're gonna go across this bridge in a minute, but uh, it's pretty cool. Let me show you how steep this grade is here. Look, look over my shoulder here. So uh, the trucks have to take it really slow. You know, the locals in the pickup trucks are just flying by you, but um, a lot of farmland down here and the Peace River, take a look. Since Dawson Creek, we have traveled 150 miles, but we have a long way to go yet. We are gonna go and stop in... No, Fort Nelson. Fort Nelson for the night. So, we're just so, poking on down the highway. We'd like to show you like some fantastic, beautiful scenery, but it's been like driving through a tunnel. It's just, uh, tri since we left Taylor, where we stopped there at that overlook and crossed mm -hmm. the bridge of Taylor, it's been pretty much just a tunnel uh, it's trees oh, on each side right. but in front of us we, uh, see mountains. we see mountains so we stopped up here at pink mountain uh, the guy at the gas station was super nice to us um, 
and uh, I gave walked us a, in the door and he pointed back to the corner and I said bathrooms he said yep I said how'd you know that's what everybody wants <laughs> so anyway um, that that worked out really good so we're we just pulled off here at this little pull-up we've made some sandwiches and we're hoping to make it to Fort Nelson today uh, not much to show but we're gonna keep logging our trip here down the Alaska Highway take a look up in the distance I don't know if you can see it but there's a lot of mountains y'all so uh, we made it to Fort Nelson today so from Dawson Creek all the way to Fort Nelson pretty pretty tough day of driving uh, the roads good but uh, it's just long and it's like driving through a tunnel so not a lot of footage it's just trees on both sides and just a long boring drive got to keep your eye out on those gas stations because they are really stretched out uh, I've got a really nice spreadsheet that shows uh, the distance between the gas stations uh, that was given to me at the visitor information center there in Dawson Creek so that's very helpful so hey we're at the triple G at Fort Nelson and uh, this is an RV park uh, we decided we'd just pull in here for the night they have a nice restaurant pork chops are really good I just I didn't want to cook tonight so I just got some pork chops and uh, Nancy just had a baked potato and um, they have a bar in here and everything like that. There's a lot of people going in there right now. We are uh, just uh, preparing for the evening because we want to go to bed early and get an early start on the morning. So as you know, it stays daylight here a uh, really long time. So right now it's about eight o'clock in the evening and the sun's still in the sky. But uh, let me show you around here a little bit and then uh, we're gonna turn in. So as you can see it's nothing fancy here right it's just campers kind of just <laughs> in a parking lot basically um, but we actually got one of the nicer spots here because uh, it's short and they can't get the big rigs in here so uh, we just left the van and the camper all hooked together and um, you know we we don't even put the stabilizers down or not because we're just gonna be here a few hours um, like to be able to sit outside tonight but man the mosquitoes will carry you away so we're not going to be sitting outside tonight uh, most important thing is want to get a shower and get cleaned up and refreshed and shave and uh, be ready for another day, day tomorrow so anyway that's that's it day two on the alaska highway and look i've made breakfast for ed that's just <laughs> the kind of wife i am he's having cherry turnovers and let me tell you those are hard to make in this van Oh, uh, little treasure we picked up in Dawson Creek before we left at the Walmart store. So before we left comfort of home. <laughs> so um, you know, last night you seen us there at Fort Nelson, and we got up this morning. We left at what time? Um, seven forty. Seven forty ish, yeah. something like that. We wanted to get an early start on today, and. Um, so we've gone maybe about 10 miles or so down the road and decided it's like man it's time to eat something so we're gonna eat some cherry turnovers I know it's not the healthiest food but um, so uh, so far we've gone almost 300 miles from Dawson Creek there and uh, so Hope to make it to Watson Lake mm -hmm. today yep so uh, we'll kind of see the way things go uh, we don't want to go too far today but we'll see you know it's more of the same um, trees trees on, on less beautiful we can but... see the um, the mountains off at the distance so uh, we are getting closer to beautiful sea tree just not there yet so all right we're gonna head back on the road I'm gonna eat a little bit Herky's just gonna take a little nap he's gonna pick up the crumbs
120 miles from Dawson uh, Creek, right? Yep. Dawson Creek. And we've seen three black bear. That's pretty exciting. Anyway, we're finally getting like into mountainy kind of stuff. It is so uh, the the drive uh, all the way from Dawson Creek to here is just flat, and like we've said before, it's in a tunnel. We're finally at some really nice scenery. It's beautiful. The highway from I was reading in a book from uh, Fort Nelson to up here to the mountains was unsurveyed when they were actually constructing it. So I thought that interesting is like basically when they're building a highway, they're just plowing trees down with bulldozers. Uh, they were using like uh, hunting paths and right, right, right. So that's what we've read. I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I've been told. Um, and you can see that uh, in the video there that uh, we went through a lot of construction zones. So it looks like today they're still working on the highway and still trying to make improvements. But uh, man, are we glad to be in the mountains again. All these folks all going by in the motorhomes, they're honking and waving at us because last night we uh, talked to them when we were at uh, Fort Nelson at the RV park. Uh, they're making their way. We, we're we slower. We, uh, we take our time, pull out at overlooks and everything. So we probably left a good hour before they did this morning. So anyway, let's get back in the car and um, get on further down the road. Turkey is busy watching these men work here on the side of the road. Uh, every now and then, it seems, they are doing some work and so they put up this temporary stoplight because it's one way through it this area. It runs eight minutes right. each side. So you gotta sit here for eight minutes, then they let it go through. Some places they have pilot cars, uh, some places they don't. Uh, I don't know if we have one here no, on this no one. Pilot so, car. Um, anyway, we're sitting here. The funny thing is, we we'll climbed that hill back there, and all those people passed us in all those motorhomes. They're all sitting. Whoops, time to go. It's still red. Oh, honey. We got a slew of people behind us. What's the problem? where we left you off the car would not start while we were in that uh, construction area so thankfully we were in the construction area we pulled over here to this uh, well they towed us over here to this well, I, have a, I have a little strap in the car and uh, one of the construction workers pulled me into Of course you into... have to have if you drive a 1999 <laughs> Astro van you carry your own tow rope. Too bad I don't carry a, a fuel pump Oh my, I think this is our tow truck coming now. Of so. all things, he did not change. That's what broke down. Hey, we have AAA, so and we're, we're good. And here's our tow truck. All right, we'll get back with you in a second. All right, once again, Jack is on the back of a tow truck. The one thing that has not been replaced, you guessed it. The fuel pump and that's what's wrong so they are going to haul him an hour back to fort nelson and uh, to a shop that ed has already talked to they're going to replace that we are going to tow the trailer with this truck here back to where we stayed last night and i guess we'll be on the road two or three days i don't know monday is a holiday here so tuesday we may be back on the road so here's hoping situation we got a few miles up the road after the tow and we decided that uh, we just get out and check everything so hey everything looks good here uh, got some nice people come pick us up so we got the tow truck and a pickup truck towing everything so um, yeah we got about an hour drive back to Fort Nelson so uh, we'll update you as we go We 
are right back where we started from this morning because as you saw in the video, we had a hiccup. But thanks to Wally and Todd who got us back on the road. Yep. So Todd, Todd Penning at Deluxe Auto here in Fort Nelson. This guy was awesome. He it, today's his day off and he right. actually came in and replaced the crankshaft sensor on our van. But Wally, the tow truck manager, he doesn't even run a tow truck really anymore. He and his wife came up an hour. He towed the van and his wife towed uh, the camper and I rode with her, Herky and I did. I tell you what, we have met the most wonderful well, people. people. Yep, it's been great. Yes, so, what a blessing. So, and we have triple, we're right back here at triple yeah, g hideaway and we have triple a insurance so the tow cost us nothing, nothing. so um, and the repair wasn't too bad no so. the repair was very reasonable so they treated us really good so hey we're thankful for that you know what we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna start all over again tomorrow so day three on the alaskan highway will be tomorrow mm -hmm. but for now we are going to close this out and take a for a walk thanks for following along